Hey there! Today we're going to talk about this pen. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder how you ended up on that box. But I have a suspicion, I won't go into that now. Um, what could this be? Looks like a stainless steel Lamy 2000. That's funny, because it is a stainless steel Army 2000. Um, comes with some stuff. Um, a little booklet. Which deals with people like Gerd Alfred Müller. The person who designed it. Um, awards it won, etc. Comes with a, a warranty policy. A very interestingly sized booklet you got there. Uh, Lamy Products warranties its writing instruments for the life of the product. If repair is required other than from abuse or misuse, then for $9.50 handling and return postage charge, Lamy Products will repair, refurbish and return any Lamy instrument. Well, isn't that funny? And then there's a little credit card. For a second there, I thought Lamy gave me my personal Lamy credit card with unlimited credit to buy pens there, but unfortunately, it's just a, a guarantee card sheet. I think the box is pretty nice. So this is a little, you know, sort of a folder where those 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 papers went into. I, I just shown you, you know, something like that. Um, then you have the pen, of course. We'll come back to that. And then you have. A little cloth. Now isn't that funny? I think that is brilliant because metal parts, especially shiny metal parts like this clip, you know, they have a tendency to, to you know attract fingerprints like a magnet. So this way, you know, very, very nice. Okay, so the Lamy 2000 in stainless steel. What makes it so special? Well, what makes it special is the fact that it's made out of stainless steel, because this is its brother, or sister, whatever you like to call it, um, which is made out of Macrolon, and this is stainless steel. Is it heavy? Oh yeah. I'm just reaching for my scale here. It's nothing too fancy. The Macrolon version, not inked up, so I had a little bit of weight for the ink. What's that? That's about 25 grams stainless steel version is inked up well it says almost 60 I think I read 54 so it's, I mean it's just a, a very simple analog scale so uh, I'm assuming somewhere in the 50 plus range is, is very adequate it is a lot heavier apart from that I mean the pen is pretty much the same right it's just a different material it's it's just a 2000 except this is stainless steel. So what I'll do, I'll cover the parts of the pen, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and I'll do a writing sample. The pen is cool. This is undeniably true. Let's start with the cap. The cap has this nice little thing on top, uh, which is a bit reflective. It looks more reflective than it is probably because I got a window right there and light is you know, shining on it. Now, I cannot see myself in there, but it is fairly shiny. Uh, the clip on the other hand, that's a completely different ball game. You can probably see that. Um, what you're looking at right now, I'm not sure. Probably the house is on the other side, the street here. This is a mirror, mirror finish. So I can see myself, you know, pores and all. It's it's a very nice um, polishing they did there. Okay, then it says Germany on the inside of the clip, so you can't see it on the outside, you really have to look on the inside. The clip is spring-loaded, I always, I almost feel sorry to do that because I get fingerprints on that nice shiny surface, but it's sort of spring-loaded clip, which is very useful and very easy when you put it in your shirt pocket, you can just pull it out and not ruin your pocket. Um, we have the cap, uh, the cap is an interesting shape, 
it says Lamy on the back. You probably can't see it, but it, it does actually say that. Uh, Lamy on the back of the, the, the cap on the other side of the clip. And that's it. The barrel, very unique shape, I think. Um, I mean, it's not like we've never seen this before, but with this and the, the, the flat end on both sides, um, makes for a very unique profile, which I think many pen lovers will, will recognize. Uh, and of course, it's the same with the, uh, the Macrolon version. Uncap it. It's a, a slip cap. We still have, uh, these things have been referred to as a lot, the dog ears or whatever, two little metal things that sort of stick out. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see them. You can see one right there. Uh, they keep the cap in place. <sighs> is it a big issue? For some people it is. They, they think that this entire surface should have been smooth. I would have enjoyed that. I think it would have been even cooler, but they're so small, I can't really say they, they absolutely, you know, bother me or, 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 or anything. Um, when it comes to the nib, uh, the nib is uh, a, a bit small, and that's because it's it's actually um, a uh, so, sort of hooded nib. Um, I like it. I, I, I got a broad nib. Uh, I think it's it's a pretty cool nib uh, that that functions very well. Uh, it's smooth. It's it's pleasant to use. Um, I have one issue with it, but I'll I'll come back to that. Uh, as I said, it's it's somewhat hooded. I know this won't really focus, but this is just to give you an idea of, of how how small the nib actually is. Um, very interesting. Nice nib. It is gold. Uh, as far as I know, um, I'm just wondering about whether it's 14 or 18 karat right now, and I, I completely blank out. I'll uh, add an overlay or something, if I remember. Um, so this is the broad nib, you can also get it in fine, you can get it in medium, uh, and in Europe you can also get obliques. Uh, on my, my Macrolon version I, I have an oblique broad, um, but I, I think they're not available in the US. So something that disappeared in the metal version is the ink window. You see the Macrolon version is, is clear there, so you can actually see how much ink is left. The metal version you cannot. Um, okay, so the section, very fascinating shape. You see that little hole there, and that's to draw up ink. Uh, I like the, the, the shape where this is really flat. Um, interesting to hold, very tapered tape exactly the same way in all sides. There's no texture there, no way to grip it or whatever. As you can see, and I think that is really beautiful. I like that in the Macrolon version, um, but the effect is much more pronounced on the uh, stainless steel version. It's so smooth and it's so, so you know, I would almost say aerodynamic. The lines are so fluent. On the Macrolon version you get a metal section. Macrolon and then the final bit is, is metal at least. Yeah, it is. Um, but of course, it's kind of, because the color changes so drastically, it's sort of like the Macrolon stops there and then you get metal. Whereas with the old metal version, it's just one big chunk. That's what it looks like, but it's it's beautifully curved. I really like that. Um, okay, then the final thing that's interesting on the, uh, the, the end of the barrel, you probably can't really see it. There's a very fine line here because it's a piston filler. So I'll, uns I'll unscrew that a bit so that you can see it. Um, the piston turning knob, um, all integrated with the barrel, beautiful. I think it's very nice. Okay, what do I like about the pen? What do I not like about the pen? Well, it looks cool. Seriously. I mean, I think it looks cool. It's a bit, you know, designy, and, and it, it has a bit of a sort of a, a tech you know, technological feeling to it. I like that. And I think the metal version is, is very, very pretty. Uh, I, I never disliked the Macrolon 2000, but I didn't care for it, you know, that much. Um, I got it because it's a design icon. I wanted to have one. I like using it. I like the way it looks, but it's not a pen that immediately jumps out to me. This one is, is different. It's it's big. It's I mean it's the same size as the Macron. It looks a bit bigger. That's probably just a psychological effect because of the uh, the, um, um, the 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 metal. Um, but 
you can't mistake this for metal. When you pick it up, it's really heavy. So that's something I like. I like the looks. Uh, I like the feel. The metal is, the, you know, the stainless steel. It's 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 very smooth. It's very pleasant to the touch. Uh, it feels very very smooth. I really like that. I like that shiny clip. Uh, I you know it, it it has a lot of very cool features. There's two things about it that I don't like. The first is that. Okay, there are three things, but one one doesn't really count for me. When you post this, it gets really heavy um, because the cap itself. Take out the scale again. Um, the scale itself comes down at a good 20 grams, which is more than some pens weigh. So when you put that on, it's it's very top heavy. But I don't consider that to be a big issue because the whole pen is heavy. That was to be expected. And you can, I mean, you don't have to put the cap on for weight when you write because it's a heavy pen. So two things I really don't like about it. The first is that one of its blessings, this all you know nicely rounded. Uh, section. I think it looks great, but I personally have one problem with it, which is that when I write, the nib rotates a little bit. I'll show you that when I'm doing the writing sample. But it's it's really an issue um, because at some point, you know, you you the the sweet spot of the nib is no longer touching the paper, and the pen just skips. Now that may be my complete lack of motor skill. I'm I'm not sure whether I'm the only one who experiences that. But it's a bit of a problem. Uh, what you could do was, you know, put the 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 the, uh, the the cap on. At least that gives you very visual. If you align the the clip with the nib, uh, that that gives you a bit of you know visual feedback on on how you're holding the pen. Because it's difficult for me. It's a bit difficult to see when I'm writing how exactly I'm angling it because there are no you know landmarks on the pen itself. Maybe that that sounds weird. I don't know. But that that's an issue I had. Okay, the other thing that I don't like is that I, I guess I also have that in the Macrolon version but no it doesn't seem to be as pronounced maybe it's just my pen I'm not sure but the turning knob for the piston is quite loose I'm really applying no pressure and I can just do this with the Macrolon version or I got it here I really to unscrew it I really have to apply some pressure and then you know sort of it it, it clicks, well it doesn't really click, but you know it, it sort of loosens up. Whereas with this one it's just a, a very smooth motion. Is that a problem? Well it's a problem for two reasons. The first is that if you decide to post, um, I don't know whether you saw what just happened, but I, I posted it, I start writing with it, and the cap just, because of the clip, it's a bit heavier, right? It's It just rotates. Um, now this is really nitpicking, but you know I think it's a bit strange. Um, one concern I have is that if this is so easy to operate, should you post it and you remove the cap and accidentally you twist it a bit too far, then you may actually squeeze some ink out. Now that's not a very large concern because how am I going to do this without ruining everything here? I'm still squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. There's still no ink coming out, and I've gone pretty far now. I did some writing, so it's not 100% full, but it's it's not empty or anything. Um, so it's not that if you do this, then ink will you know squirt out or anything. But still, I I would have preferred it if the the turning knob would have been a bit more tight. Apart from that, great pen, obviously great. But the big question. Is it worth the extra money? Because it's quite a bit more expensive than the Macrolon version. Is it worth the extra dollars, euros, etc.? I'm not convinced. I'll be completely honest. I like the Macrolon version, and I'm sure that you know production costs on this pen are higher, and maybe the margin of profit is smaller for Lamy. It's a very cool pen, but is it worth that much extra? I'm not sure. The nib is what does the writing, and that's the same as on the Macrolon version. Um, the only thing you get is a heavier pen, and of course a pen that looks different. I mean, it looks metallic and not Macrolonic. Um, but is that worth it? Is the added weight worth that much money? 
I don't think so. I, I don't think I would buy it. I, I, I was able to get a good deal on this. Um, but for the full price, I'm not sure whether I would buy it, even knowing how well it writes. And of course, that's just my personal opinion. What I would like to hear is from other people who have this pen, who bought it. Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's, it's worth the extra amount of money? Maybe it is. It's just that I've got the feeling that it isn't, but you know, maybe you disagree. I, 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 I'm really interested in your opinion. So just let me know. Uh, this was a lot of talking, so I think it's, it's really time we move on to the writing sample. I, I hope I haven't bored you to death, and um, that's all there's to it. So I'll see you later, and bye-bye. Um, okay, writing with the Lamy 2000M. The ink is a very bland uh, Waterman Florida Blue, now Serenité, if I'm not mistaken. I keep forgetting. I put that ink in because I know exactly what it's like. So this is a new pen and I know the properties of the ink very well. Um, so I know that any oddities will be caused by the pen and not the ink. Alright, so, writing, writing is smooth, and let's do a bit of fast writing. Now what you may see is that occasionally the pen skips a bit and I, I have the strong suspicion that this is quite simply because the pen is uniform, right? It's exactly the same on all sides and I notice that when I am writing uh, sometimes the pen seems to rotate a little bit in my hands. I'm exaggerating now but you know the, the, the difference between this and, and this is not that large so it's, it's for me it's, it's easy to, to rotate the, the pen while writing and on my, my macro law and my, my regular uh, Lamy 2000 uh, I have an oblique nib and then it's no, not such an issue because you have to rotate the pen for it in order to write well but with this regular broad nib uh, you do notice a bit of a well this, this issue I think still it's a very nice nib I mean this amount of spring, the uh, line variation offered, is quite nice. So I kind of enjoy it. Let's see how wet the pen is. Good flow. fairly nice even patch of blue. Um, I like it. It's not excessively wet. You see that's already dry. Um, but it's, it's, it's not a, a very dry pen either. So in all I would say it's, it's a very interesting pen. You definitely feel the weight when you're writing as you probably can see. I, I haven't posted it. If you do post it then it's really heavy. But you see, I don't know whether you, just, you saw what just happened. You see, the cap just rotates, um, and that's actually the, the piston turning knob, which is quite loose. I would have enjoyed it if this would have been a bit tighter, because I'm afraid that if I were to, you know, take off the cap now, uh, it, it would actually, um, you know, do that, and I would get ink on there. Now, there is quite some it's margin of error. As you can see, I can I can twist it all the way up to here without ink actually coming out. But still, I, I think that's uh, that's that's a bit of an issue actually. Apart from that, I'm just cleaning the pen here a bit. Apart from that, I think it's a really nice pen. Uh, posted, it's it's very heavy. So if I write with it, posted.
this was again that, that rotation issue. Yeah, this is one of the pens I really do not like when posted. It's it's I like heavy pens, but <laughs> this is a bit too much for me. So that's that's all there's to it. I um I hope this was useful and um I'll see you later. Bye bye.